Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Try Out the Outer Worlds. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. I got it during quarantine, like during hardcore quarantine back in like whenever m May. Time is irrelevant. Anyway, um, all I know is that it's kind of like Bioware, kind of like uh, like Mass Effect, Fallout. It's not like Fallout in space with a little bit of Bioshock maybe thrown in. Anyway, I heard it reviewed really well. I've been wanting to try it forever and I figured I would give it a whirl on this day that I recorded it the day before I had to leave for work. So yeah, what this is, it's, it's, a, it's a let's try out again. I was live streaming it. I've live streamed I think the first five episodes or so. Um, again, I won't be, I will continue to do Final Fantasy most likely, um, but I'm just going to upload these and see how well they do, see if people are interested, and if they are, I'll continue playing it for YouTube, and if not, then I'll continue playing it on my own. <laughs> but yes, um, let me know what you guys think for sure. Um, it's, it's a, it's a kind of game that is really up my alley, so it's been really fun. To be fair, I'll warn you, the first episode is mostly character creation. I do put in timestamps in the video for if you want to skip the majority of the time stamp. Basically go, time skip, whatever, time stamp. Um, basically go from about 16 minutes to about 38 or so, and that's, that's a big portion of the character creation, like, uh, the face model and stuff like that. But anyway... Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, let me know what you think. I do read comments even though I'm terrible at responding to them. So, um, without further ado, let's get the video started. Let's see how it goes! I don't know! Normal! I like normal conversation subtitles. On. Show bark subtitles. Sure. Show cinematic subtitles. Yeah, put those, put those on. Text size? Whoa! Uh, let's do it like that. That one. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits in the stars? Come to Halcyon. Dang it. I'm too slow. Why stay earthbound when prosperity oh, awaits you in the stars? Oh, you're gonna say it for me. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by... Florida. That sounds bad! A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed oh, to crap. maximize your productivity with guaranteed full Oh, employment. perfect society. a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Oh, no. Colony ship Hope found drifting. Hope to be left at edge of colony. <gasps> oh, no. Breach of Hope Security Corridor. Oh, oh, I don't know. Whoa. It's space fallout. Whoa. is this guy who is very oh this here he is okay so the subtitles on here are actually kind of distracting I'm about to turn those off I thought they meant subtitles for speaking but they meant subtitles for Hundreds the words on the screen thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful Oh, oh geez, it, oh, oh geez, oh boy, uh, <laughs> I'm so bad at these, um, strength, I, I tend to like melee, but this is probably a shooter, so I should probably go with dexterity, um, uh, blah, intelligence, FX critical hit, accuracy, long guns, persuade, hell yeah, put that in persuade, I love persuade. Medical science determination, okay, uh, I'm gonna be super intelligent, look at that, look at that. It's like Fallout, melee is an option, Get well I tried to make a melee character in Fallout, like New Vegas, the one time I tried to play it, and I did really poorly. Determination, determination, average, charm. 
Is this a persuade? All right, yeah, put that in there. Persuade. We're going to persuade the heck out of this. Companion ability refresh. Positive. Oh, that said positive face reputation. Positive faction reputation reactions. And a, and a 10% decrease to negative faction reputation reactions. We've got factions. Oh, yeah. It's like everything good about New Vegas. Why does charm affect intimidation and science? Listen. Listen, you have to charm the molecules. You have to charm them. Temperament involves my natural, uh, improves my natural health regeneration. Lying, sneaking, medical engineering, determination. We'll have a good temperament. Can I have a bad? Oh, I look. hope you won't yell at me the moment I wake you You're up. You're going to, what did he say? Oh dear, did you actually punch out your anger counselor? <gasps> You're going to yell at me when I let you out. Oh. Temp te temperament? G good? Uh, perception. Handguns, long guns, heavy ones, dodge, lockpick, engineering. Maybe I won't worry about strength and dexterity because I don't even know what I will. Oh, wait, there's a carrying capacity? We have to put some into strength. Hang on, let's see, let's see what he says it with this. I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden for <laughs> What is that? Must remember not to sneeze near you. Oh, remember not to sneeze near you? <laughs> Go min on each stat. Let's see. Because he, cause he has different ones each time. So it's a decrease to melee and a tactical time dilation move time. I don't know. I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. I hope your brain's quicker than your hands. Uh, let's see. You're about as subtle as the Spacer's Choice mascot. As the Spaces Choice mascot? That's all right, friend. I'll be the brains for both of I'll us. I'll be the brains for both of us. Um. Oh, wait. Um. Okay, I have one more point. In uh, perception. Or I guess I could put it in strength because then I'll have a better carrying capacity. Does he say stuff if I max? Hmm. Nerve on. damage in your extremities. Nerve damage in your Let's see. Hang on. Yes, you look like you can take a beat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. You've got a once in a generation mind. You've got a once in a generation mind. Oh, hang on. Quick on the draw. Quick on the draw. You might become the system's most dangerous sharpshooter. A sharpshooter? Ho ho. You could charm your way into Byzantium. Into Byzantium. You're like that Spectrum potato chip, unruffled. Unru- A Spectrum potato chip, unruffled. Okay. Okay. No, stop. Wait. You memorized how many digits of pi? How many digits of pi? <laughs> I'm such a... An intelligent person. Wait, no. Um... Okay. Um. Next. Melee skills. Blah. Give me persuade. <laughs> Come on. Let me persuade. How do I? Oh. I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. Persuade, lie, and intimidate. So I just click the one and it tells me on all of them. Tech. Tech skills improve your knowledge of bodies, tools, in the universe. Each point in tech significantly increases medical engineering and science skills. I mean, I like the idea of doing that, but I'm never sure how useful it actually is in the long run. You know what I mean? But why not? Why not? You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Yeah, totally. Um, aptitude. Colonist sounds like a nice entry-level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the Cosmo Frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to be useful in Halcyon. Okay. Uh, beverage service technician. 
needs good people, but it will settle for ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you'd make concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the favor of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Drink effect duration plus 3%. This is hilarious. Choosing companions can make up for any skills you don't have. Excellent. Bureaucrat. Bureaucrat. The universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcino's no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. That it gives us a block plus one. Cashier. No transactions finished without a smile. You live for the kachink of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. So none of these are like like super cool jobs they're all very entry-level jobs yeah i was a crappy temp before this apparently i don't know how i got selected my persuade goes up with the cashier construction shock damage received three minus three percent Contrary to popular belief, cable management is an art form. Something about hiding electrical wiring behind panels to maximize airflow just makes you sigh with relief. What a nerd! Colonists don't need to worry about the bypasses and workarounds that keep the power flowing. That's your bird in the shoulder. Elevator operations specialist. A proper lift goes up and down. Anyone who thinks otherwise isn't fit to wear the badge. Being a specialist means something where you come from. A commitment to upward and downward mobility that doesn't have a price tag. Oh my gosh. Exactly. Someone has to fix the toilet when the real pioneers take humanity forward. It's true. Factory worker conveyor operator. Dirt farmer is an it's just, it is esteemed profession. It truly is. It truly is. All of these like blue collar jobs are like obviously they're like essential workers is how we would phrase it today in our pandemic day. These are the people who don't get their don't get the day off, you know. Safety. Oh yeah, factory worker. Uh, safety and efficiency, efficiency don't always go hand in hand, which is why so many of your co-workers at the factory were amputees! You survived the trenches of the assembly line long enough to know when a hydraulic press just wants to pancake some fingers. Thankfully, you managed to keep all of yours. You get a dodge bonus. Huh, <sighs> dirt farmer. End ray damaged received. What's that? Like a neuron ray? Oh my gosh. You got into this business for the tubers, but you stayed for the plowing, planting, pruning, and plucking. If it is it is an honest work if you come home clean. Worm needs dirt. Worms need dirt, and food needs worms. You're just doing your part for the worms. Food additive tester. Sometimes quality control means sampling a delicious borscht smoothie, but most of the time it means swallowing toxins until you find one that stays down. You love a good surprise. Now that your stomach lining has the consistency of a broken in saddle, it's easy to explore your culinary limits. Food effect duration plus 3%. Oh my, this is hilarious. You're just food additive tester. You're like the poison taster. You know what I mean? Janitor. Sanitation class. I was a janitor for a while. Maybe I'll be a janitor. A corrosion damage received. Minus 3%. I don't... See, minus 3% stuff is like... Anything under like 10, I don't really care about. So the bonuses there aren't great. This would just be for like... I think what it's mostly supposed to be for is flavor text. So that's what I'm gonna do. You spend evenings kneeling over ominous stains with a bottle of caustic solvent and an absorbent rag. How the blood got there is irrelevant, above your pay grade and beneath your interest. You're an artist of erasure. When you're on the job, there's no trace to be found. Tossball team mascot. There isn't a problem in all the cosmos that Team Spirit and a big stake couldn't solve together. Your last major head injury in the field knocked some extra cheer into you, and you've been a rising star in Tossball's competitive mascot food chain ever since. It doesn't matter that no one knows your face under the mask. You share glory with the team. Inspiration plus one. Yes, that is what I said. I was definitely a janitor in real life for a while. <laughs> Try to recreate this in the game stats, and then I should probably put everything into intelligence. That's all. Uh, that's all. You know, if I recreate myself, obviously, because I do those uh, those puzzles super fast. You know, in in Andromeda, I do those those uh, those one puzzles that I can't remember because I'm so intelligent. A couple of the companions are really into toss ball. Ooh, yeah, they might react if you if you like mention you're the toss ball mascot. 
Medical tra technician, junior grade. Prior to leaving Earth, you earned the trust of the medical community's most esteemed junior surgeons. Most esteemed junior surgeons. Who entrusted you with stepping cotton balls into pill bottles. Experience on the job made you realize that diagnosing illness doesn't take a formal education when a search term on a little imagination will do the trick. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. I do. So that's the Sudoku. Yeah, that's the one. You do it so fast, you don't even see it. Safety inspector. In your line of work, the corporation's bottom line needs more protection than its personnel. Ooh, yikes. Guardrails aren't free. Thermal shielding needs replacing. And a hatch that seals reliably is a luxury. You're on the vanguard of ensuring every possible expense is spared. You're not on the side of the people. You're on the side of the corporation. Since corners don't cut themselves. Yet. You prefer to think of workplace accidents as happy little coincidences. <laughs> Happy little coincidences. Scientist assistant, level o, level zero, class A. You get a science plus one. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in this business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just, this, that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. A sub sous chef. Is that, am I saying that right? My American accent? Exactly, exactly. I am a once in a generation genius, it's true. The hierarchy of a modern kitchen uh, is a ladder of many rungs. Your role as an assistant is to the, to the second deputy chef's aide. <laughs> the second deputy chef's aide <laughs> is one of middling distinction, but you are honored to pour your heart into the ritual emptying of grease pans and the backbreaking labor of gravy restoration. You're holding out for that advancement to poultry inspection, which is due any year now. Oh my gosh. Like Seuss? Like Seuss? Sub Seuss? Let's see. I guess if I'm into science, if I put a lot of my points into like sciencey, intelligency things, I probably wouldn't be a dirt farmer. Factory worker, janitate, janitor, janitor. Let's be, let's be an electrician. I like it. At least you'll know not to touch electrical fences. You say that, but... Next. Gender. Female. Hell yeah. Face. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Wait, let me see. I'm curious. Do they have... Okay, it's just male and female. Uh, oh, boy. We've got several options here. Several options. Oh, my. Oh, hell yeah. We're in for, we're in for a ride now. Oh, jeez. I messed up. Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What- what to do? I don't e I don't even- I don't even know uh, what to do. Who should I- who should I make? Let's see, we've got skin tone, eye color, brow, horizontal, forward, oh my, eye, vertical, ah, there's too many, there's too many. Hairstyles, let's check out hairstyles. Oh, that's good, that's what my hair currently kind of is. Oh my god, is it, does this count as like, Black? Hair, do they actually have like black hairstyles in this game? Also, I can't freaking see because the background's too. What the, um, hair color? I need to brighten the hair color so I can freaking see it. Oh my gosh, they give you a bazillion color options. Okay, I still can't see the hair regardless of what color it is. White hair. I'm a white hair kind of gal. No, stop. It keeps like shunting me down, and I don't want to do that. Mm, white. Hair kind of gal. Heck yeah. No. Okay. Hairstyle. 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 All right. That's nice. Okay. And we've got... This actually... All the hair looks really, really cool so far. Oops. That's mom hair. More mom hair. But like fancy... Fancy. Fancy ye olden days. Oh my gosh. They do. They actually have... Oh my gosh. Look at it. This is awesome. Okay, the, the Bioware, Bioware needs to take some notes. None of these are long hair options, like, truly, like, so far. Okay, I lie. There we go. We ate a little bit. But, like, 
even the short hair options we we have 30 options for hair like this is great and they all look really cool oh yeah no, i like how like sculpted these look they look so nice oh nice you got the the molding nice nice fancy mom hair is hot like i did like that hair like it was it was really pretty honestly like i say mom hair but it's really pretty which mom hair can be very pretty obviously but like it's kind of that like because like you think oh it's just kind of like tied up like real quick but it's just actually really well done with like braids and stuff i really like this one And see, like, you're like, oh, it's like, it's like the pioneer kind of looking style, I guess, maybe you could say. But, like, it's still really, it's, like, actually fancier than you think it is, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, yeah, let me see, it's fair. Like, like from the front, I was like, oh, yeah, it's mom hair. But then I was like, no, actually, just kidding, it's not. <laughs> So, my, this is kind of what my hair looks like currently. Help me. Lemon Z, help me. So, I've got... I, I trust you. There's this one, and but I also really like this one. But if I make this one, obviously I'm going to go with like a black character. And with the other one, I have a little more options. So, I need assistance. I need assistance. Camera fake news. Listen, I look like a gremlin right now. It's so... There's actually so many good hairstyles. You like the first one? I do, too. I like this one, too. But I think this one's... This one's nice. I like it. If it was curlier, it's like what my hair would look like. I think this is as white as it's gonna get. Or maybe it's just silvery gray. I don't know. I can't. I can't see any. I can't see anything. I can't see any of the colors. It's fine. Eyebrow style. Oh geez. Okay, the first one's nice. Okay, I can't go messing with this until I actually get the face figured out. Okay. This kind of looks like the face of someone I want to punch. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, these are actually all really good. Like a lot of times you get these and you think, wow, they're not great. But they're actually really good. Kind of like this face. Was that number 10? I honestly really like the first face we had too, but... Let's look at... At 10. Yeah, I really... Yeah, I like the first face too. I don't know. We'll see. You like 10 and 1 too? Me too! Me too. Let's see what this one does. Oh, God. We're so white. Look, okay, I, I I can never tell on these. Is this supposed to be like, here's like white to black, but with different like amounts of age? Like, are they different white to black? I can't tell. Are they different? I can't. I have no idea. It's warmth. Um, so, in what skin tone is it easier to tell? Because white looks white and black looks black. One has cool undertones. One has... Is it like cooler undertones on the left and redder, redder undertones on the right? Uh...
Won't affect anything unless I'm doing make- Oh god, makeup. Um. Alright, colors. So they're kind of orangey. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Uh, ooh, wow. I like that. They're like very bright. It's kind of a gray, number seven, kind of a gray purple. <gasps> White eyes, hell yeah! I, this is I'm I'm just big I'm big on that honestly. <gasps> oh my gosh, we look so spooky. Nineteen. Oh, now we're in the spooky colors. Look at the spooky colors. Oh yeah. All right. No, I'm I'm I'm. Oh my gosh, I love these. Brow horizontal. What does? Oh, girl. What does that mean? Like, does that go forward or backwards or left to right? I think it's left to right. It's fine in the middle. Brow forward. Is that pushing it actually outwards? Okay. Or inwards? Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. You're all in for Sith? Yeah! <laughs> How how wide is it? How wide is the brow? It goes this wide. Does that look better? Brow vertical. Up. Mm. Crooked. No does she? I mean, her nose isn't crooked. Oh, it is. Is it a little crooked? I don't know. It might just be the shadow. I li I, I actually picked this face partly because I like the nose. She's got a strong nose. Mm, doesn't look like that to me, honestly. But we can, we'll look at it. I'm sure we can mess with where the nose is. Uh, vertical. Should we have her, should we lift her brows a little bit? We'll, I guess we'll lift her brows a little bit. Eyes horizontal. You can put them close together, farther apart. I think eyes belong in the middle of your face. Eye size, I don't mess with that unless I'm making elves. Vertical. Sometimes it's okay to raise them a little, but sometimes it's not okay to do that. Hmm. Interesting. You're on vacation, so cocktails. Jaw, okay, jaw is big. Jaw, jaw's a big one. Okay. I do like me a strong jawed woman, honestly. Okay, middle. We'll maybe make it a little longer. Yes, Stone Smith, don't worry about it. You do, you agree that the rain, the, the rain, the nose looks. See, to me, it looks a little bit crooked. Like, it looks a little bit broken. Like,. On my right side, so like her, it's like her left side where the shadow is. The shadow kind of curves in a bit, so it looks a tiny bit broken. You can't tell unless you turn her slightly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, she might have a bit of a broken nose. Nose size. Uh, her nose is perfect. Maybe we. How is. Oh, it's just width? We can make it a little wider. And then nose tilt. What does that do? Tilt it down like that. Oh, that looks cool. Is that like very Indian, like India, Indian? That kind of style of nose? Oh, and it like, okay, interesting. It like brings it forward, like between the eyes. It makes it so that between the eyes isn't so pushed in. Is that racist? No, people like, people like look different everywhere. <laughs> And uh, I think it's been a it's been an issue that people have put online that like um, like a lot of Indian women have like larger noses, but in like their own media they push the like small nosed woman, and so like a lot of women are trying like in, in all over the world, not just in India, but are like you know hey we don't have to have these tiny petite noses to be beautiful. You know you can have a strong, 
I don't know, is aquiline the right word? Nose? And still be quite beautiful, so... For a long time now, I have... Personally tried to make characters with, like... A large and graceful nose. Because I find that... I do find it to be beautiful, so... And it's like a different kind of beauty than we're often used to seeing. So what was the... Okay, so that's nose width... But on nose size, was it just the whole, oh, I was just like making the, it's just like the whole thing bigger or smaller. Nose width. Let's find where it was. There's a lot of um, Middle Eastern people here and you've not noticed them having larger noses. Okay. It was something that I read about like, uh, specifically it was like Indian women, like from India. So, like, Southeast Asia, you know? Um, but thank you, Sassy. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying her. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, we already got her hair. Oh, cheek. Oh, jeez. Um... Okay, so she can have broader cheeks. So it's broad and narrow. I think, I think, I think she's fine and right in the middle. I really like the way she's turning out. But they don't give us a lips? Where's lips? They don't give us lips! Unless it's in feet. Ah! We don't get lips! It's not in features! Makeup, dirt, scar, age. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm appalled. Okay. I like the first eyebrows. They're strong eyebrows. Uh, just, I feel obligated to look at eyebrows. It might have been, well, hang on. No, yeah, we looked at face, head, skin tone, eye color, brow, eye, jaw, mouth size. Oh, did we not, did I, did I not look at those? Mouth size and mouth vertical. Oh, okay. So I can't really change the lip style. I can just change what kind of li like how big her lips are, which I'm not going to mess with. I know, I wish you could change brow color. Eyebrow. What does facial hair count? No. Okay. Uh, sometimes I'm like, you could put eyebrow under facial hair. <laughs> Does it, it? Nope, doesn't look like it. Why can't I change my eyebrow color? Also, do none of the eyebrows, like, none of them actually, like, pop out from your face. They all look like they're drawn on. I'll give you, I'll give you credit for, like, ooh, cool. Oh, dang, look at this. You can have, like, sculpted eyebrows. Yo. Like, I mean, like, like. You can, like, shape them not like a normal shaping. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do these. Look at those. Those are legit. Um. No. What? No, you don't. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Okay, okay what about these, at least? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> the eyebrows look a little weird in this game. Overall. And it hid one in your clothes. Oh, Rain! My child has blessed you. You're welcome. Oh, makeup. So I don't even, like, get to, like, pick my makeup. Oh, oh, okay, we're going, like, full-on face paint. 
We're going, yeah, the, the eye, okay, their hair, let's just say that the hair is good. The hair is really good. The eyebrow game is weak. However, this looks legit. Okay, this is like, just like darkening the lips a little, which looks nice. It got shimmery eyes. You got the goth, you got the kitty cat. Uh, you got, well, okay, you got, uh, was it fifth element? You got clown. You got, uh, what is this, the smoky eye. You got a uh, goth light. You got a uh, gay. <laughs> you got um, a uh, uh, drag queen, but like goth drag queen. Um, okay, now all I'm gonna see is drag queen. Um, what? Oh, this is not. This isn't makeup. This is just like. What is that skin? The melanoma? Where, where like your skin lacks some melanoma? Why would you put this under makeup? It's like you're doing it intentionally, but that's not how it works. Like it's an a it's actual skin conditions. Oh jeez, you can do oh fr oh my gosh, look at all these freckles. The makeup is cool, but I do wish yeah we could choose the color unless it kind of picks it for you because it kind of well I don't know it seems to be favoring the yellows and oranges and that might be for my skin tone. I don't know if it if it modulates based on that though. Oh dang. We've got you can have a perma bloody nose. You can just have a permanently This is a black eye. It's not even makeup, I think. That's a black eye. And then that's like a punched lip. This is a bloody nose. This is a cut on your They put what the And this is they have a whole other section for scars. This is just like getting your face beat in. You can be fake beat up your whole game. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's just... Oh, gall. Um, oh, jeez. We're just getting bloodthirsty now. Oh, dang. Did I freaking miss some of these? Some of that one, anyway? That was weird. Okay, wow. That's just... that's That actually kind of works for my eyes, honestly, because it's like the really dark around the eyes. Edward Cullen. Uh, no, I won't. I like the freckles. So I like the freckles, which is 24. So there's like a degree of freckles. There's like freckles everywhere, like a little bit of freckles and like a little less. Um, and then I don't like any of those. I like, I like this one. This one was cool. That's what women look like after powdering their noses. Only if you get the completely wrong color for your skin. I can't go very well making a brown woman and then cover her face in white. That's not how it works. <laughs> okay. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with that. You like, uh, you like this, but you don't know if it suits the rest of your look? I like it. I'm gonna go with it. Wow, look at all, oh my gosh. If I was a dirt farmer. Hey, Lemon Z, should I put dirt on my face? Look, on this one, you can see my handprints. My fingerprints, rather. <laughs> scars. I like Scars. I'm a big fan, and they give you a variety of scars. Oh, dang. Only if I was a dirt farmer. Dirt farmer. Oh, dang, that one's around your neck. <laughs> Glasgow smile? No, no, no. I, I refuse to be a joker. I'm always a fan of the classic uh, scar near your eye look. Maybe, um, should I just go with the freckles? I kind of like the freckles all over. I think you're right. I think the other one doesn't really, doesn't really go with, with my whole aesthetic. Freckles are very cute. I like them. Freckles are hot. Also, yes. And we could age ourselves. Man, we're gonna look good when we get old, though. Hang on. I'm 
trying to see if I can see a difference between some of the first ones. Do we be a fresh? Do we? Yeah, it's in the brows. I can, I can kind of see it, and you can kind of see it near the nose too. Uh, do we go with a with with fresh faced baby, or you know, we've seen some stuff. I, I'd only be willing to go up one, one tick. Baby, all right, let's be a baby. Yeah, I like it. Could you imagine if I hit randomize just now? I'd probably just throw myself off a bridge. Next is the square button. What's my name? Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 it's true. You're, you're right, Lemon Z. I'd hope to not be stuck as an entry-level elect electrician if I was older. Um... I don't know good names. Uh, Amara, are you just making that? Like, where does that come from? I have to I have to have. I need a little bit of context for names. Oh, my name. Or does it just sound pretty? Because if it just sounds pretty, that's also a good reason to name somebody something. It's a girl you went to school with. It's a pretty name. I like it. Let's do Amara. Oh wait, uh, they're not gonna let me use my keyboard. Amara. Oh, she's Bengali? Oh, cool. Oh, do I get to have a full name? I'll just go with one name. Spacer's choice is dying to meet you. Okay. Uh, we have average or good strength, average dexterity. We're very intelligent. Um, we're an electrician. Uh, we're bad at one-handed melee, but we're okay at two-handed melee. Handguns we're not great with, but long guns was that? Is that a sniper? While firing rifle, rifles and other long guns. Heavy weapons were okay. Oh, dude, 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 dude. She would look so good with like a chainsaw. You know what I mean? We're not good at dodging or blocking. Good to know. But we're excellent at persuading, lying, intimidating, and also... Okay. Medical. Medical increases the heal amount provided from items in the inhaler. Are you serious? Increases the duration of effects and opens extra slots. This skill increases damage of plasma and shock damage weapons. Science also improves the special effects for science weapons. Higher science skill unlocks the ability to tinker any weapon or armor in the workbench, increasing their power. Improve your weapons and armor. 40 competent is a tinkering cost. Corrosion damage. Okay. There's a, I don't know if there's a chainsaw, but I just, when it, when it said heavy weapon, I definitely pictured a chainsaw, so I'll be a little sad. Engineering. Find, uh, field repair. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Oh, that's actually dope. Also, we're as medic. <laughs> a plus five hibernation suit, whatever that means. I don't, our inspiration's pretty good, and our determination's pretty good. So we're not a, we're not a dexterity-based person at all. We're gonna use long guns... Heavy weapons, science weapons, and maybe two-handed melee weapons. We're a beefy scientist. All right, here we go. I think we're I think we're good. Yeah, start the game. Do it. Let's do it. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. What? Uh, that doesn't sound good. It sounds less than ideal. Oh, he just came in here and rescued me. Like, please power down your engines. Have to be Not likely, bootlickers. Oh man, I'm defrosting. Initiate skip jump. We made a light jump while we were on fire. That feels not great. Feels not great. 
orbiting laboratory Halcyon system. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip drive. Shit. It's okay, I'm a scientist. I can help. I'm a scientist. And an electrician! Hey, that's where I was. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Oh, jeez. Oh, your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years. Holy cow! Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. Uh, it's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Uh, Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. He's sealing me in! But, uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? Wait. Oh my gosh, I've been sealed in. I don't, I, uh. <laughs> Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. 60th anniversary of the Ho Hope's disappearance. You dirtbags. You absolute dirtbags. Oh, this, may, this is the perfect game for me because I just love hating on corporations. I love it. Ah. <laughs> And at least we got a little bit of action in there, so we're going to cut it off there. But thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoy character creation, and I know some people really enjoy watching it, so I left the whole thing in. But yeah, I, I sometimes I'll cut it out, if, especially if it takes too long. But on this one, it was okay, so I left it in. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm really excited for the game, and I hope you guys enjoy watching. And the next episode has a little bit more action. But to be fair, so far what I've played is a lot of dialogue <laughs> in, in the other parts of the game. But I hear it picks up a little bit more later. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.